Okay, I hate the bugs you bring into the house, but... Lizards? Eh. I can work with lizards. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider Ghost DX Iguana Ghost Striker! So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right here you have the Iguana Ghost Striker. You got Ghost there in the corner. On the top of the box you have the three separate modes. On this side of the box you have Ghost Riding the Iguana Ghost Striker. On the other side... You have Captain Ghost and uh, Ghost Riding the Machine Ghost Striker. On the bottom, you have the actual Ghost and the actual Machine Ghost Striker from the show, along with some product shots. On the back of the box, you have some more obligatory product shots. Does this, that, the other, all that cool stuff. And, of course, you get Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along... Here we have the Iguana Ghost Striker, a very, very weird set. <laughs> but fun, though, but definitely fun. But we're going to take this guy and move him off to the side for now, and we will take a look first at the Machine Ghost Striker. This is Ghost's uh, bike right here. And, of course, this being the, you know, the budget gimmick line, um, not as well painted or as well detailed as one would like, but, hey, it is what it is. But we'll get in close here so you can see the details. There you have the head there, which has the horn. It's done in a nice silver paint with metallic blue in there. It also has a little bit of orange right there. Nice green on the eyes. Really pops. Come down here to the suspension there. They did pick that out in some gold paint. I see the spokes there. This whole piece is just uh, some gray plastic. But there is some molded detail right there. Um, they use a nice metallic paint on this portion right there. It looks really nice. has a nice little sparkly effect to it. Got orange right here on the seat. Come to the back again. Not a whole lot of details going on here. You can see the chain right there. And this bit right here is picked out in silver. And come to the other side here. You got the exhaust pipe. That's pretty much it. You do have a kickstand right here to hold it up. Um, it doesn't, you know, you can't turn the wheel or anything. It, what it does, it's what it's doing. I mean, it can roll if you bring up the kickstand here. I mean, the wheels do roll nice and smoothly. Of course, it'll just fall over because the <laughs> tires are very thin, but, you know, it's a motorcycle. It's supposed to have thin tires. So, there you have that. And just for a comparison, here he is with the Ghost Change Series Ghost. And that's what, these, uh, what this set is intended for, for the Ghost Change Series figures. So you have that right there, and that's... Uh, that's pretty good scale. I think that that works pretty well, size-wise. Um, of course, you I'm pretty sure you will be able to use the figure art with this if you really want to, because figure arts are basically the same height as these figures. So We'll take Ghost here and put him on his bike right here. There's nowhere to actually put his feet, though. It's one thing that's a bit unfortunate. We'll see if we can get, his, get him to grip the handlebars here. Come on. Come on. Get that one. That one over here. Boop. There we go. I guess just get his legs up here somehow. That maybe. I don't know. <laughs> like that? Does that work? You let go of the handlebar. How dare you let go of the handlebar? You're a madman. You're a wild man. You don't let go of the handlebars. I don't care if you're already dead. You don't let go of the handlebars. That's suicide! I know you're already dead, but it's suicide again! I don't know what I'm saying. What's going on here? Wait a second. Wait, wait. Wait, I can do this. Maybe not. There we go. There we got him. On the motorcycle. Hooray! That only took about 20 minutes. So, there you have that. There you have him on the motorcycle. Of course, the sleeves are not working too well with this because, you know, the sleeves are weird. But, there you go. Got him on the motorcycle. So, there you have that. There you have the Machine Ghost Striker. So, we will put this off to the side right now. And we will bring in this guy right here. This is Captain Ghost. As you can see, he is a, uh, a ghost ship. A very weird ghost ship thing. It's <laughs> very, very interesting. Well, we'll get in close here. 
so you can see the details. Um, they did use a nice Bandai silver on this portion right here. They use, they use a nice metallic green paint for this portion right here. Looks really cool. And um, the green plastic they use actually does have a nice sheen to it. So it does pop quite well. You got the uh, red eyes right here. It's got the red mouth. Um, you see the planks. The planks actually do have a, uh, a texture to them, which is nice. This little wood grain texture to them. And coming down the side, see some more of the details here. He does have some, got some holes here. He's been in some battles. And up here, you got the section. And again, you got some older details in here. Of course, the iguana feet, the back feet, uh, the hind legs are just kind of sticking up in the air there. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, the claws right here are just a gray plastic. They are a soft ish plastic. They do have a little bend to them. And then you got the sails. Up top here, which do look, you know, kind of beaten up and tattered and whatnot. So we have that. From the back, there's really not much going on. Underneath, you can see a little bit of the uh, iguana head sticking out of the bottom there. So you do have a little bit of visible hair syndrome. Yeah, even, even these toys have them. So there you go. Um, now, articulation-wise, there is a bit of articulation. You can actually move these arms around. If you move them too far, you will... Actually, start to uh, unclip that top section there. So really, you can only move it about that far. You can have him saying, "Hi, hi, how are you? I'm a creepy ghost ship. Nice to meet you." You can do that. That's pretty much it. You can you can rotate the uh, the sails if you wish. You can do that, and they can they can move on these hinges here. That's more for transformation, but you can kind of take them and angle them in any way you wish. So, there you have that, and just for the comparison, here he is with the uh, Machine Ghost Striker and Ghost. So you can see how that works. And there you have that. So, what you can do with this guy is, you can transform him and combine him with the Machine Ghost Striker to make the Iguana Ghost Striker. So, to do that, you're just going to take the sails here, you're going to bring this one down, you're going to bring this one down, and there's a tab right here that'll go into that slot right there. Just bring that down. And you're going to take this whole section here, unclip it, and, oh, actually, before you do that, you want to bring these legs down, and now, you're going to take the section and flip it all the way back, lock it into place, and then you just take this section right here with the legs, you swing this to the front, bring the legs down, like that, and you're halfway there. So now with the Machine Ghost Striker, what you're going to do is you're going to take this section right here, and you're just going to swing it up to the front like that. You want to flip off the kickstand. And then you want to plug this in to this cavity right here, and this clip, there's a clip right here that will go onto this post right here. So you just take that, line it all up, and got to move ghost legs out of the way here, and it will just clip into place. I think we got it. Yep, we got it. And, and you let go of the handlebars again, you wild man. That's suicide. How could you? And there you go. There you have the Iguana Ghost Striker. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> it is so, so weird. But yeah, there you go. It's a big, it's a big Iguana. And even the Iguana has a hood. Even the iguana wears a little hoodie. That's hey, they match. It's cute. <laughs> Isn't it cute when when owners dress their pets up like them? Oh, that's that's precious. That's so precious. But anyways, getting close here on the iguana. It's actually very nicely done. Got the scales molded in there. Nice yellow on the eyes. He got some orange there on his nose. Uh, the teeth are picked out in silver. Okay, you got some nice detail going on there. Pretty cool. He does end up with this long tail. There's a lot of stuff around it, but he does have this long tail here. And, uh, yeah. And articulation-wise, in this mode, it's pretty much the same. You can't really do too much. You can rotate the arms. You're on a ratchet here. You can do a full 360. These hind legs right here, you can move them outward, but they don't really serve much purpose as far as posability. The tail, you can just move up and down, but again... Doesn't really hold anywhere. Just it's really just meant to just clip in place right there. So yeah, basically what it does, it's is 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 what it's doing right there. But 
<laughs> it's so weird, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there you have the Iguana Ghost Striker. Um, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. I mean, it's a, it's a ghost ship that combines with a motorcycle and turns into a big iguana wearing a hoodie. Because Japan. <laughs> I know there are people who watch these videos and I'm sure they're like, this is the weirdest thing I have ever seen. And you're not wrong. Yes, it is. I, I don't disagree with that in any way, shape, or form, but you got to give these people an A for, for imagination. I mean, you got to give them an A for imagination, because <laughs> who else would think of this, really? <laughs> I think that's why I have so much fun with it, because it is just so out there that I can't help but like it. Um, but yeah, there you go. There you have the... Uh, the Iguana Ghost Striker. One thing about the uh, the motorcycle, too, actually, let me unclip this for a second. When you swing this part around, it actually does reveal a lot more molded detail there in the uh, motorcycle. You actually see the engine in there. Of course, again, nothing is picked out in paint, but it's cool that it's molded in there. I figured I'd show that off in a bit more detail. So, let's clip that back on there. There we go. But yeah, there you go. There is the Iguana Ghost Striker. <laughs> it's weird. But I like it. So, there you go. Now I picked this up from uh, Hobby Link Japan, HLJ. Um, that's where I pick up most of my Kamen Rider Super Sentai stuff nowadays. Um, of course, there are many other places you can find this kind of stuff. There's CS Toys, AmiAmi, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's eBay and Amazon. But as always, be a little weary of their pricing. Um, but yeah, definitely... Uh, many avenues through which you can go about picking this stuff up if you are interested in it. And of course, BigBadToyStore.com does have a selection of common writer merchandise. They mostly only carry figure arts nowadays, but you can check them out if you wish. There's a link in the description down below. And you can also check out my common writer ghost playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out Endgames. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Common Writer Ghost DX Iguana Ghost Striker. And this is M Ghost saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be a proud. Palm in your face. Oh, let me take that palm back for one minute here. There's something I wanted to do that I totally forgot. Um, this thing does mass shift, as you saw, when you go into this mode. And uh, just to give you a measurement here, from the tip of his nose to the tip of his tail, this is almost 16 inches long. So you have over a foot of iguana <laughs> when it's in this mode. So it does turn into a sizable means of transportation. For your ghost figures so pretty cool so just wanted to point that out real quick so once again boom in your face okay kid listen if you really want to get into this business the one thing you're gonna need is a sweet ride like my trider on here oh oh wait i have something like that i'll be right back what what the what is that Pretty cool, huh? I found him on my doorstep on a cold rainy night. That's crazy. Keep that thing away from me. Ah, ah, what is it doing? Oh, look at that. He likes you. No, he's tasting me. It's a sign of affection. You!